वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर टू एंगल्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आल्सो विल बी कंटिन्यू सॉल्विंग द सम्स ऑफ योर वर्कबुक व्हिच इज ऑन पेज नंबर थर्टीन टुडे आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट ऑफ एन एंगल एंड वन मोर टॉपिक आल्सो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द कंस्ट्रक्शन स्टूडेंट्स योर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच इज ऑन पेज नंबर थर्टीन ऑफ योर वर्क बुक लेट्स सी वॉट दे हैव गिवन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन यूज द प्रॉपर जोमेट्रिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द फॉलोइंग एंगल्स मीन्स वॉट दे हैव ऑलरेडी गिवेन द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द एंगल्स वी हैव टू यूज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड ड्रॉ द एंगल्स सो दिस आर द टू इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एंड ड्रॉ द एंगल्स एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू how to construct the angles but today also i am going to show you one of the angle how to construct and rest already i have drawn okay so let's begin as they have given the measure of angle 50 degree so we have to draw the angle of measure 50 degree so before drawing the angle we will be starting by drawing the line i'll be drawing a line at the bottom so i'll just draw one line at the bottom okay as you can see i have drawn the line i'll point it out over here and i'll adjust my protector on this point okay it should be adjusted in proper way so that this line this line as you can see it should match here properly in proper way as you can see here it's matching properly okay it should not be like this or like that it should match in a straight way in a straight direction or at moving towards right hand side okay after that you are going to mark as they have given measurement of 50 degree so you are going to mark 50 degree from the protector okay as you can see it's starting from 0 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 20 120 130 140 150 160 170 180 180 180 180 okay from 0 to 180 it's it is in this way and on the reverse direction again it's starting from 0 and again it's coming till 180 but we are going to mark it from here okay always to mark from here 0 10 20 30 40 50 okay 50 is coming here so i'll be marking here i'll just make one point now what i will do with the help of the ruler i am going to join this point with this point okay with the help of the ruler i'll join both the points and i'll mark it arrow on both the side and i'll mark it 50 degree over here so student this is how the construction of angle we are going to do as already i have explained you in the previous slides also how to construct an angle and today also i have shown you one of the example how to construct it rest of the sums already i have done already i have constructed so you have to construct the angle in the same way as i have shown you okay so just construct the angles in your workbook with the help of the instrument and pencil so students as you can see the second question measurement they have given of 115 degree which already i have constructed okay so you just have to take you have to draw the line at the bottom adjust your protector at this point and construct the angle of 115 degree similarly students third and fourth sums also i have solved here the measurement in the third question they have given 80 degree and in fourth question 90 degree so i have drawn both the angles by using protector and scale so you have to do 
in same way you just use your scale and protector for the construction of in the angles students the next thing which i am going to explain you is angle bisector so what do you mean by angle bisector suppose if i'll draw an angle okay suppose if i have drawn an angle and the measurement of this angle is 40 degree if i have drawn an angle a b c and the measurement of this angle is 40 degree and if the ray divide this angle see i have denoted the ray with the help of dotted line and if a ray divide this angle abc into two equal parts okay if the ray divides the angle into two equal parts so such ray is known as your angle bisector suppose if i have named this ray b d so your ray b d is dividing angle a b c into two equal parts okay so this angle will become 20 degree and the other angle will also become 20 degree means what what i have explained to you that angle a b c is divided by ang ray b d okay into two equal part so such a ray is known as angle bisector so how you are going to define the angle bisector a ray which divides an angle into two equal parts is known as your angle bisector now here the angle abc is been divided into two equal angles okay and what are the new angles which we are going to get the first one is angle a b d okay and the other angles which we are going to get is angle d b c as you can see your your angle a b c okay measurement is how much 40 degree but after divided by the ray the ray is what b d and how we are going to denote the ray b d in this way okay you will be learning ahead but we are denoting ray in this way so ray bd is dividing angle a b c into two different new angles and what are the name of the angle angle a b d and angle d b c okay and how you're going to how you're going to define the angle bisector a ray which divides an angle into two equal angles is known as your angle bisector okay so students we are going to see the construction based on the angle bisector in the next class okay thank you